Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So here we have an identity map which is defined from RD to RD1. D is usual distance and D1 means discrete matrix space. So let us recall the definition and then we will go further. Okay. See usual distance it is defined in this way. So D of XY is equal to mod X minus Y and discrete matrix it is defined in this way. It is equal to 0 if x is equal to y and it is equal to 1 if x is not equal to y. That means in a discrete matrix space, we have just two distances only, two values we get 0 and 1. If points are same, distance is 0 and if points are distinct, distance is 1. So there is well known result that is in discrete matrix space, every set is both open and closed. You can take any arbitrary subset of that set matrix space then definitely it is both open and closed. See what we have to prove, we have to prove that that identity map is not continuous. Okay, so let me clearly mention here what we have to prove. To prove that, to prove that I is not continuous. Okay, so let us recall one definition of continuous function. So actually it is uh, there are some equivalent definitions, so it is one of it. Suppose this is domain xd and this is codomain y rho, right? We have a function f from x to y. So if you have any open set g in codomain, its inverse image f inverse g is always open in domain, then we say the function is continuous. Uh, I will repeat. If you have any open set in codomains, its inverse image must be open in codomain. Then we say the function f is continuous on x. Here what we have to prove, we have to prove the function is not continuous. That means we have to find one set, we have to find one set g in do codomain which is open but its inverse image is not open in domain. Then we say the function is not continuous. Getting So same thing I am going to do. So what is our domain? Domain is RD and what is our codomain? RD1 is our codomain. It means we have to take one open set in codomain and we have to prove that its inverse image is not open in domain. Let us take any set. So let us take one set let G is equal to let us take one set but see uh, we have to take set from codomain R which should be open. But see, in a discrete matrix, every set is open and closed. So you can take any arbitrary set. So I'm going to take here singleton 0. Getting singleton 0. So which is subset of R obviously. So clearly, clearly, G is open in R D1. G is open in R D1. Okay. So the reason is in a discrete matrix space every set is open so each set is open so that's why g is also open right so let us find its inverse image let us find its inverse image now so inverse image of g inverse image of g we are finding so actually i is identity map if identity map that means you are familiar with that i of x is equal to x identity map if you shift i on that side you will have x is equal to i inverse x. That means i of x is x and i inverse of x is also x. So that's why i inverse of g is also g. You will get a same set g. So therefore g is a subset of rd. Then g is, g means i inverse g is subset of rd. Usual distance. So now my target is to prove that g means inverse image of g is not open in RD. So we have to prove this set is not open in RD. So we, I'm going to do that. Just make a screenshot of it since I want some more space to write. So we have to prove that it is not open in RD. Okay. So how to prove set is open. We take any arbitrary point and we try to find a ball around it. Let me show here. If you have such set Z, how to prove set is open. We have to find a point. Uh, we can take any point and we have to find a ball which is around it, which entirely lies inside set G, then we say the G is open. Here we have to prove it is not open. That means we have to take one point first. See, but G has only one point. So you can take a only one point that is zero. So clearly, 
clearly 0 belongs to G since G has only one point singleton 0, right? Uh, let us take any R for any R greater than 0. I am going to find a ball around 0 with radius R. But see, we are doing all these things in a metric space R. So when you talk about ball with center 0 radius R, we always get in the real line, we get 0 minus R and 0 plus R. Let me tell you the formula. B A R. If you have a ball with center A radius R in R, R means real line. A radius R. So you get here A minus R and A plus R. So A minus R, A plus R. Same formula I use here. So we get here minus R plus R. Right? Let me remove this one. It is not required now. Okay. So clearly, one thing we can write. Clearly, that minus R plus R is not a subset of singleton 0. Let me show in a diagram. So this is 0. Right? So minus r plus r that means my here r and here minus r. So minus r plus r this interval is obviously not a subset of singleton 0 since there are many points other than 0. So this interval is nothing but ball with center 0 radius r and that singleton 0 is nothing but our singleton 0 is nothing but our g. So it is not g and this is true for every r greater than 0. So if you take any ball around 0 with radius r, then it is not subset of g. So therefore, g is not open in rd, where it is a usual distance. So therefore, g is not open in rd, getting rd, d is a usual distance, that is, but g means what basically, i inverse g, i inverse g is not open in rd where d is a usual distance so let me show you here what is actually happened so this is codomain r d1 with discrete metric this is domain with r usual distance we have taken one set singleton 0 actually we got so we have some set here g which is open but here inverse image i inverse g is not open. So that's why we declare i is not a continuous function. So therefore, i defined from rd to rd1 is not continuous. That's it. In this way, we prove the function i is not continuous. Make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you.